Hello friends, my name is Jerry and today I'm going to be checking out the Find Find K669B USB microphone. With live streaming being more popular than it's ever been, especially after, you know, the last few years. Having great sounding audio has never been more vital in today's internet based world. I'd even argue that it's more important than having great video. I mean, the difference would be between this. Hello friends and welcome back to my live stream where today I'm going to play one of my favorite games and this. A good microphone isn't just limited to live streaming, of course. It can be handy for things like recording and podcasting and even video calls. But with so many options out there, it can be tricky to find a decent one at a reasonable price. I mean, just search USB microphone on Amazon and you'll get over a thousand options. But if you look closely, you'll see that this very fine fine microphone comes up as the second option. And yes, I'm saying fine fine on purpose. This is how one of their sellers precisely asked me to pronounce it, and this is where I should state that yes, Fine Fine did reach out to me to check out this product, but all opinions expressed in this video are entirely my own. Included in the box you get a little advertisement card, a user's guide, the mic itself, and a little desktop style tripod. The K669B comes in five colors. Mine came in this black color, but it's also available in blue, green, silver, and rose red. The first thing you'll notice is it's nice all metal construction. I wouldn't say that it's the most premium feeling microphone that I've ever held, but it's definitely not cheap feeling either. It lands somewhere in the middle. It has a master volume knob on the front that controls the input gain to control the overall sensitivity and panned all the way to the left actually mutes it. It has a frequency response of 20 Hz to 20 kHz, measures at about 4.5 inches tall, and lastly there's a 6 foot USB-A cable directly attached to the microphone, and I can kinda see that potentially being a deal breaker for some. On one hand, you never have to worry about misplacing the cable, especially if you plan to travel with it. On the other, if for whatever reason it gets damaged, well, you're shit out of luck. So with all that being said, this microphone is definitely geared and priced towards entry level users. With this, there's no need to worry about things like preamps, audio interfaces, or even phantom power. Just plug this guy in and boom, you're off to the races. But the question still remains, how well does it work? Well, there are three aspects of this mic that I thoroughly want to test out to get me that answer. And that is ease of use, noise reduction, and obviously how it sounds. As far as hooking it up to my Mac goes, it really couldn't be easier. I plugged it into an available USB port, set the sound input to USB PNP audio device, and I was rolling. No driver needed. The K669B also claims to work just as well with Windows and even PlayStation consoles. Sorry Xbox, no love for you this time I guess. But the connectivity doesn't stop there. You can even connect this mic to your smartphone given the correct adapter. Anyway, going back to the computer, it looks like our sample rate is locked at 48 kilohertz. At least it is on my Mac anyway. So my heart goes out to all of my audiophiles out there looking to cut records at insane resolutions with this mic. Honestly, 48 kilohertz should be plenty for most, and on that note I actually record all of my audio at 48 kilohertz anyway, so this should be fine for anything that I ever plan to use it for. Setting this up with something like GarageBand is super easy. Just like I mentioned before, set the mic as your input device and that combined with a decent pair of headphones and you have a really killer recording combo for not a lot of money. Game Capture HD from Elgato recognizes the fine fine all the same, which will make this mic great and easy to use for live streaming. This is also really great for things like video calls. I'm just using Zoom as an example. And right now I'm just using the onboard mic on my Mac, which sounds okay. But with the K669B, it can really take your video calls to the next level. And this can be really great, especially dealing with important clients and stuff. Next, I want to talk about how well it does with noise reduction. This microphone does have a little bit of noise floor, and I have been using a little bit of noise suppression to kind of keep it down. So now I'm speaking without any noise suppression, and this is the level of noise floor that you get. And yeah, while that's not terrible, there's still a little bit there. 
Anyway, there are a few other tests that I want to try, mainly concerning the polar pattern and how well it does with noise rejection, as in how much sound it picks up all around the microphone. For this test, I've attached it to this boom arm. First, I'm going to speak into the front of the mic, and then I'm going to speak into the back of the mic to see what kind of results we get. Since it's currently sitting in front of my studio monitors, let's play some music out of them and have the mic pick it up from the front and the back. To the left of my studio setup is an AC unit, and while thankfully it isn't really that loud, let's perform the same test with that. And as we can see, yeah, probably not the greatest for noise rejection, and that sort of thing is to be expected with microphones at this price point. And while the manual states of the polar pattern is unidirectional, that's as specific as it gets. There's no mention of it being cardioid, supercardioid, bidirectional, so your guess is as good as mine. Lastly, this is a music-based YouTube channel, so let's see what kind of results we can get with things like an acoustic guitar and singing vocals. Everyone, this is Georgie. Georgie, say hi to everyone. Hi! You might recognize her as she's collaborated with me on a project or two in the past. She actually has an incredible catalog as a solo artist, so be sure to check out some of her music after watching this video. We're gonna have her sing a snippet of her newest single, Forked Tongue, on the K669B. With a vorize and a forked tongue, you're a snake, that's the party who I fell in love with. Your vorize and a forked tongue, you're a snake, and that's just when you've turned me into a So yeah, while I think it could have done a little bit better in the noise reduction department, I'm actually really surprised with the quality of this microphone. And yes, spoiler alert, the voiceover for the entirety of this video was recorded with the Find Find. Yes, even these talking head sections that you're watching right now as I have the microphone just off camera picking up my voice. While obviously I can't try out every USB microphone on the market, I'd say that the Find Find K669B ranks up there as one of the best bang for your buck USB microphones that you can get. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and thank you to Georgie for giving me a hand with it. What do you guys think about the Find Find K669B USB microphone? Or USB microphones in general? Are preamps the way to go, or are you cool with just USB? Comment below, I'd love to know. I do have an affiliate link in the description if you do plan on picking one up yourself. Using the link really helps make videos like this possible, so I appreciate it in advance. With all this talk of live streaming, I'm actually gearing up to do some live streaming myself here pretty soon. So be sure to be on the lookout for that and be sure to follow me on my Twitch channel. You can also keep up to date with me by following me on all kinds of social media. I'm, I'm pretty much on everything. That's up on the screen and that's also in the description. And for more videos like this, you can head over to my channel, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.